The Wild Guide to Starting the Score, written and illustrated by Laura and Philip Bunting and published by Scholastic. I know that lots of you love the Laura and Philip Bunting books. I'm just actually going to go to the back of the book just to show you some of them to refresh your memory. If you haven't read any of those already, then please, please go out and get them. If you have read them, I know you know what I'm talking about. They are fun books. And this one should be too, especially if you are starting school. But even if you're not, it's not your first time at school, maybe it's your first time in this class because it is the start of the school year in Australia. Um, so yes, a really fun book. So let's get started with this, The Wild Guide to Starting School. You know, I like these end pages. If you've been listening to my stories, you know, I like the end pages and these are no exception. Lots of things that we could be looking at and talking about there and it certainly sets the scene with school. The Wild Guide to Starting School. Welcome. Hey, wild thing. Are you about to start school? Then it's time to get set for your wildest adventure yet. Follow this simple guide and you'll learn everything you need to know. From teacher tips to finding friends, we've got you covered. So even the wildest little creature will settle in quickly and easily. Number one, wakey, wakey. Start your school day with a gentle wake up call. Recommended? Mm, definitely not recommended. Number two, get dressed. Ensure you are neatly and appropriately dressed for school. Yes, no. Nope. Saturday. <laughs> Number three, breakfast. Give yourself lasting energy by choosing a healthy, filling breakfast appropriate to your species. This little koala had a healthy breakfast. Mmm, delicious gum leaves. So you can see this top one. Had a healthy breakfast and look at all the things that they can do all through the day. This little koala did not. Mm, mm, mm. An ice cream for breakfast? Oh no, look, no energy. Cannot get through the day. Always have a good breakfast. Number four, school essentials. It's a good idea to test out your equipment before your first day to make sure you know how to use it properly. Sticky tape, used for craft, artwork, sticking stuff into your workbook. Not used for turning your teacher into a sticky, grumpy mummy. It would be funny though. Backpack, carrying your lunch and school equipment. Definitely, that gets a tick. Hmm. Playing hide and seek? Maybe not. Crayons, drawing, writing and other colourful creations. Lunch? Uh -uh. Scissors, chopping paper and string. Lovely. Haircuts? Nope, 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 nope. Protractor, measuring your angles. Enhancing your smile? <laughs> nope. Number five, first day feelings. Whatever your mix of emotions, you can be sure someone else is feeling exactly the same way. And those feelings are all perfectly normal. So we've got um, some animals here. We've got some that are nervous, confident, relaxed. I'll let you have a look at those. And maybe you can talk to somebody about your feelings and how you are feeling today and every day that you go to school, really. Number six, the way to school. Make your way to school safely and avoid distractions along the way. Safely, crossing the road. Hmm, unsafe, don't want to get eaten by a crocodile. 
very unsafe uh -uh. and hmm, ridiculous. Number seven, drop off. If you feel sad when you say goodbye, a quick farewell will make it much easier. Try these. Okay, this one. The waggle. Oh, sorry, the wagtail waggle. Number two, the the smell you later. This one here, the ball and roll. Oh, this one here, the bill by. I hope you get some of these jokes. That's because it's a bilby and they're doing the bill by. Hmm. The galata ta. The butt bump. I like that one. Save these big hugs for home time. The, oh, I have to turn the book around to read this one. The super squeeze. So what it's really saying is the quicker you say hello, the easier it is. I just said that wrong. The quicker you say goodbye, the easier it is. <gasps> this is driving me crazy. Number eight, your classroom. Welcome, wild things. Your classroom is your new habitat. It's an exciting place with lots of things to do, to make and learn. Remember, if you're unsure of how to do something, just ask your teacher or a classmate. Number nine, your teacher. No matter what their shape or their species, all teachers are made up of some truly wonderful qualities. Look at this one. Kindness, knowledge, humour. Oh, fantastic. If you, if you think you have to, a lot to think about at school, spare a thought for your teacher. Their minds are always working to make learning fun and interesting while keeping a whole bunch of wild things safe, happy and out of trouble. Here's a peek inside the mind of a teacher. Oh, oh my goodness. Wowee, they certainly do have a lot going on in their mind. You will spend a lot of time with your teacher in the year ahead. It is okay to ask questions. Remember to be brave. Answer questions. Write nice notes to your teacher. Request to go to the bathroom. Share your ideas. Think your teacher is the best grown up in the world. It is not okay to be rude. Squawk or growl over the teacher. And it's certainly not okay to eat the teacher. Ah! Number 10, missing home. It's normal to miss home when you are at school and there are lots of things you can do to make yourself feel better. Try these. Think about the end of day hug. Cuddle a class softy. Let your teacher know that you are missing home. Put a cuddle from home in your pocket or pouch. Great ideas. Number 11, how to be an eager learner. Listening, waiting your turn, and trying your best in class will take you a long way. Hmm, could be keener. Meaning they could show a bit more interest because it looks like they're falling asleep. This is keen, very keen. Uh-oh, too keen, they've fallen over. Number 12, listening. At school, just as it is out in the wild, listening can be more important than talking. In this example, the students at Bilby Borough State School have been asked to draw a tree. Tree. Hmm. Not so excellent listening because they've heard three instead of tree. Not listening at all because they've just drawn what they wanted, which was a dinosaur. Excellent listening. They've been asked to draw a tree and they've drawn a tree. 13, lunchtime. Remember to pack a healthy lunch appropriate to your species. I wonder whether you can sort that out. I'll leave it there just 
a little bit longer for you to have a look at. And number 14, using the toilet. When nature calls at school, you will need to use the toilet. Bushwees are not cool at school. Always use the school toilets. Ask your teacher if you are unsure where they are. Do not poop in the box. Do not poop on your teacher. Gee, there's some good things in this book. 15, playtime. The playground is where you can let out some energy and go wild. Maybe not too wild. Sixteen, making new friends. Making a new friend can be easy as smiling and asking a question. Remember to smile. Here are a few questions to try, just in case you get stuck. Hey, what's your name? Would you like to play tag? What's your favourite song? Where's your nest? Do you like to eat earthworms too? Hmm, maybe not questions that you might ask somebody in your class. When making new friends, try to avoid sniffing, licking, tasting, hogging. Poor note, do not poop in sandpit. You don't win friends with poop. Seventeen, home time. Now this bit's mostly for grown-ups. Your little wildling will be tired after their first day of school. Give them a big hug and some tasty grub or grubs. And don't worry if they don't share too much about their day. Here is a chart of typical wildling responses to the eternal question. What did you do at school today? I can't remember. Nothing. Ate lunch. Didn't answer. Hmm, an in-depth account of the day. I wonder what you would say if somebody said, what did you do at school today? Have a think about that one. Number 18, bedtime. It will often come to them later. Oh, sorry, that's from this one, that if they don't know the answer, maybe it will come to them later at bedtime. And then a snake almost ate a bilby and a bilby ate a crayon sandwich and a wombat pooped in the box and the guy got a terrible haircut and I made five new friends and, and, and. There you go, it has. It's come to them later. They've suddenly remembered what they did during the day. <sighs> Good luck. Congratulations. You now know all about your first day at school. So strap on your backpack and your smile because you are officially ready for your wildest adventure yet. Don't forget these ones. I hope you liked that. I think it might be one that you have to go back and listen to again because there were so many great tips in there and we could take a lot, lot longer to read that story because I really wanted to stop for a long time on each page. So maybe rewind, read it again and um, think about your day at school and about sharing all about your friends and all the things that you do at school. I hope you enjoyed it, whether you're starting school or just back at school. Have fun.